Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. It's time to start a new week off, but we do have to finish off Old Gold Power Pole. Let's head in and catch up on how the week's going to go. So, we just kind of take things as they go, I guess. So, first and foremost, you can see I have selected Tapas Lakeside as my spot for this next week. And we can see a team already there configured, making some desserts and drinks. So that did end up happening this morning, so I'm just rolling with that. And obviously, as the time suggests, now that that actually is visible, I've already taken care of breakfast and lunch. But we will get dinner quite shortly after the review of last night's sleep research. Let's see how things went. Full 100 sleep score, which is good, despite having 41 less minutes of sleep. And a couple of big, big chunks of snoozing again. But balance wins out. Ooh, end of the week, true balance. That should make the uh, spawns nice and interesting. 80 million drowsy power. Still at 7 spawns. No 4 star this time. 1, 2, and 3 star. Okay. So, we got Butterfree hanging out up top. We got Mareep. We got Aeron, which is our 3 star. A new sleep style for Grubbin! Yay! Happy to see Grubbin to end the week off. Doug Trio and another air. Oh. Two. Oh, folks, this is going to be a difficult research for me to get through. There are so many Pokemon I want to take home. And yes, we do have the one new sleep style. In Grubbin. Stretch Sleep. The one star. So halfway there on Grubbin. Okay. Good. Only one hungry. All right. Anything to help me today? Handy candy. Useful, but not for what I need it for right now. So. Let's just start through it. My priorities, first and foremost, are the Grubbins, because those are the ones that are the coffee generators that I do not have currently. Shinx and Aaron both have it, but it's not their primary focus. Perfect resolution for that. I'm really happy that you are hungry. No critical capture, but that's okay. I can still try to work with this. Not on the hungry, but on the second. Great. That leaves you. Let's 
So we're going to do this the smart way. We'll lead in with the polka biscuits. See if I get any big hits. See that there isn't hung full. Still hungry. And then can just tap and put that in with a great biscuit. So, a little biscuit heavy, but it's going to be the last time I'm on Old Gold Power Plane for a little bit. So, I'm going to make it special. Uh, do eventually want to take home Butterfree. Still working on Doug Trio, but I think that's enough biscuits for today. Uh, we're going to share out two Star Grubbin. Help folks get their coffee fix. Mm, a nice 11,000 Dream Shards back in the bucket. Alright. Buckle up for some step checks. First grubbing up. We're looking for ingredient finding, and speed up, and inventory up. Okay. Okay. All right. I can work with this. The helping speed's out the front. I mean, getting to 50 is going to be a little bit more of a struggle. But that Ingredient Finder S can be Ingredient Finder M. Still Trigger is the only thing really on here that's kind of like, eh. Alright. But I can work with this. Energy Recovery up. EXP gains down. It's going to be a little bit of a struggle getting it up that high. But there isn't something that's like absolutely spoiling it. And it's got the coffee configuration. <sighs> that feels really good. I was really worried I was going to get through this event and not have at least something viable to get that last ingredient. I know that I have some Pokemon with it, but they're less than ideal for trying to exclusively get coffee. So this feels really good. I'm going to plug that in as soon as I'm done recording to see what that turns out. Okay. Now you have a chance to show your sibling up. Let's see. Mockets to nature. Coffee, mushroom, mushroom. Alright, let's see what we got. Inventory up. Skill trigger. Helping speed. Inventory up. Ingredient finder. Ingredient finding up, speed of health down. I know that that doesn't necessarily, like, helping speed is going to help to counteract that and ingredient finding. But it's not the ingredient spread that I want, so. Both do an amor amicable job. Alright. First, Aaron. Relaxed as well. All right, sausage, coffee, coffee, coffee. This can still also turn out pretty well if I really want to stack coffee. Uh, I just got to make sure that it's got the right spread of subskills. Helping speed is good. Inventory up is good. Inventory up is good. Ingredient finder is good. Skill trigger is good as a capstone. And energy recovery is also good to keep it nice and topped off. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's serviceable. If I want a um, not as heavy coffee collector. All right. Also, another chance to overtake your sibling. 
mild in my mirror. Mmm, better ingredient spread. Skill trigger, sleep XP bonus. Inventory up, skill trigger, ingredient finder. With ingredient finding up. Sleep XP bonus. The skill trigger is just nice out the gate, especially since it's got energy recovery down. So the more it can trigger its own skill, the better it can be for topping itself off. Um, ingredient finder S all the way at the end is a little bit of a struggle, but all in all, not terrible. But yeah, it's about time that I, I got some capitalism to do. I've been putting it off for too long. And see what is going to be worthwhile to bring back to the team to help make some new dishes. Mmm. Might need to restart the app. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. And I'm back. Sorry for that. For whatever reason, I guess it's just catching up with all of that was just a little bit difficult for the system to handle. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, the weekly missions have moved on at this point, so even though I did recruit quite a lot of Pokemon, no other missions to collect from week one. But now that I'm here at Lapis... Our goal is Master 3 with a Stuffle Incense, which is nice. Good with my Bewares, but always happy to have some more fun incense. Um, in our random assortment, cooking, berries, stick to bedtime, befriend 10 Pokemon. Oh, so that, because I'm not getting it from last week, it's this week, it's already counted for. So, <laughs> good progress on that. Interesting. Uh, and giving out 15 biscuits, I've already got 9 in progress. <laughs> so that's also good. I usually don't complete those uh, week over week. So no candy task this week, so I can continue to save Dream Shards, which is good. Pick up 200 more sleep points on to pass. 11,000 now stacked up uh, in the month quickly coming to a close, so it is going to be high time that I cash out <laughs> that pass. Alright. No news. To be expected until Halloween starts proper. I did earn some metal. Reaching Ultra 4 and Old Gold Power Plant. That was the end result. Um, I'm gonna biscuit back. Yes, so, because we didn't get to share that together. Yeah, highest result ended at 843,600 strength, so in Ultra 4. Not quite to Ultra 5, but it was still a good, honest effort. I feel good for the amount of effort that was put in, because I had no additional area bonus. So getting that 5% is going to make a tremendous difference when I return back at some point. Uh, and I'm just going to take it nice and easy this week on Lapis. Nice and easy. Lapis will still be a little bit of the struggle bus, but not nearly as much as old gold. At least for the team I've got set up. A little bit less so now that I've got a coffee specialist bug. 46 reports from the community. Thank you so much for reporting in. Always get nice big numbers in these evening recordings, so it's always happy to see that getting closest to 50 as possible. Alright. And like I said, uh, desserts and drinks were the ones selected for this week. So, going to continue focusing on Explosion Popcorn. Um, and I can certainly try to get some coffee on there at some point in the week once I get enough of either corn or oil backed up to be able to make one of the new dessert recipes. So that should be exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. 
because I also do have quite a lot of ingredients to catch up on. Making all those meals yesterday. I probably actually tomorrow morning can actually probably flip over. Make a nice, really early dinner. And not enough space for tea time corn stick goings yet. <laughs> Need to get another two pot of upgrades, and then that can be a uh, another focus. So, I actually got a good chunk of oil already built up, because I basically didn't use any of it with the uh, lemon corn stew. But I am relatively low on my corn, so I will need to leave Beware on the team for a little bit. Um, but at least through tonight I should get a little bit more. And everything else is a nice, good, healthy chunk. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna run the numbers on my coffee addict rubbin. As long as it's somewhere in the like 80 percentile of things, or at least <laughs> feels like that's a worthwhile investment of my time and uh, resources, I can at least get that to 30. So I can at least, and as well as any of the evolutions as well, and get that started on the team tomorrow, start pulling in some coffee. But give the team tonight enough time to build up some more resources to continue making the popcorn as a failsafe. Still gotta make some meals. Still gotta get to at least Master 3 <laughs> this week. Thank you, Wigglytoe. Still got about 200 ingredients still to collect, so we gotta make up a little bit of that deficit. But yeah, it'll be a nice chill week this week because there's no events going on for this week. Next week, there will be as we go into the fun extravaganza of candy all over the place that is Halloween. So very excited for that. But for today, that's what I've got for you now. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hope your old little power plant debut event worked in your favor. Feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I will be back tomorrow morning with some more sleep research. But until then, sleep well.